ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video from ABC 3340. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with you on this November the 15th edition, and this is a big day. This is Storm Alert Extreme Day, and we're going to be talking all about severe weather at the BJCC. Hope that you can join us. In the meantime, we've had a nice cold front move through the area, so it's going to be a rather chilly weekend. Here's our Skycam on 280, Inverness, and uh, certainly can see those low clouds in the reflected, uh, reflecting the light, and uh, same downtown Birmingham as we can see the, the low clouds reflecting the light from the city. There's the cold front that's uh, moved through the southeastern U.S. and going to be bringing some stormy conditions to the Outer Banks and the Carolina coastline and the mid-Atlantic states today. And there's the big trough that we've been watching uh, develop for the last several days. And that is going to be uh, kind of situated over the eastern half of the country for several days, keeping uh, the southeastern U.S. in northwesterly flow. Pretty chilly temperatures there in Canada and uh, the north-central part of the United States. Still mighty warm in Florida with uh, 70s at this hour. Across central Alabama, we're generally in the lower 50s, uh, fairly uniform there with a lot of 52s being reported, and a good northwesterly wind. Look for uh, wind advisory on area lakes today with some 15 to 25 mile an hour winds and some gusts uh, in the 30 to 30 mile an hour range. Slight risk of severe weather along the Atlantic coast all the way from uh, near Jacksonville all the way up uh, to uh, uh, southern New York, so uh, going to be an interesting day for those folks with uh, kind of stormy conditions. I'm going to break the QPF into parts because uh, the five-day still reflects the rain that uh, is falling uh, across the area, the light rain that's falling across the area now. So this is days uh, one through three, and uh, you can see that tells the story. No rain in Alabama, and then day four and five, no rain in Alabama. In the tropics, we're still watching a little bit of a disturbed area, but no signs of any development. I don't think that anything will happen as we're getting only two weeks from the end of hurricane season for 2008. Here's our surface map for uh, midday today at uh, noon, 18Z. And you can see the 540 line all the way down to just about Montgomery and uh, stretching over into northern Louisiana as well. And that's uh, ushering in some pretty cold air. We're going to see clouds, I think, just about all day today, clearing overnight tonight. And uh, with that, we might see some snow flurries, especially in Tennessee and uh, in the uh, uh, Smoky Mountains, but I don't think anything serious here and, you know, kind of a situation where you may get a little drizzle with those clouds. The trough continues, uh, the main energy of the trough continues to shift off the mid-Atlantic coast and uh, through New England tomorrow, Sunday, and uh, that will shift the entire weather system off. And uh, we also see a little moderation, that is the 540 line, by Sunday, jumps back uh, up into Kentucky. Uh, we see another uh, kind of reinforcing shot of cold air coming into the trough on the west side of the trough there on the western Great Lakes on Monday, and that uh, blasts through on Tuesday, and so that should give us another kind of reinforcing shot of cold air. The trough moves on to the east on Wednesday, but you can see we're still under a good northwesterly flow, and so that's going to keep things dry and also keep things uh, on the cool side. I think we're going to stay uh, to kind of typical for this time of year or a little below typical for this time of year. Uh, the trough becomes pretty much anchored over New England on uh, Thursday, and it's uh, there on Friday with some little impulses riding through the flow, and you can see one of those impulses coming through the Ohio River Valley on Friday, but it looks like that's going to come through dry, uh, no noticeable precipitation on the GFS surface map. And uh, that also kind of uh, helps to sharpen up the trough uh, over New England, but that keeps us high with a large surface high keeps us dry with a large surface high pressure system uh, over the eastern half of the country, and uh, not much changes into Sunday the 23rd. All right, let's go ahead into Voodoo Land a little bit, and uh, we come more under a little ridging pattern. And uh, we've been seeing model madness, as James calls it, and certainly a lot of different looks, and and it looks like we're back to. Kind of a little bit of a moderated pattern here with um, most of the westerlies pretty far north. And this is Wednesday the 26th. And then by the end of the month, uh, looks like we get a little bit stormier with a kind of a trough on the east coast, trough kind of in the west coast, ridge between, but also a trough undercutting that ridge. So 
certainly something for us to be watching. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll be getting ready to head down to the BJCC here in just a few minutes. I hope that you get a chance to join us today to talk all about severe weather and about severe storm spotting. Hope that you have a great weekend, and God bless.